they all hated everything to do with the people who, who came from the other side of the political spectrum, the people who supported Etzel, the people who were supported the Lehi, uh, people who were not socialist, whatever, even though they were not religious at all. They couldn't stand the sight of them. And they instilled in, in a huge number of, of people in this country, a huge swath of, of, of the population, they instilled in them a true hatred for for anyone who was not part of the socialist Zionist ethos. So that means begging the could, all these other people, they were all terrible. And and, and you could uh, do anything you like to them, by the way. Uh, you have to understand this is not something, when I say you could do anything you like to them, I'm not exaggerating. In the 40s, for example, in Minyanam, people from Ben Gurion's uh, circles, young thugs, were deliberately sent. There's, there's, there's the period known as the saison, the season, hunting season, as it were, when they they kidnapped, uh, sometimes they kidnapped Etzel and Lehi people and handed them over to the British, who then uh, tortured them, sometimes hanged them, uh, definitely jailed them. They did this. This is well known. It's, I'm not telling you anything that you, should, you probably know, or you should know. <laughs> Just a few weeks ago in the Korisho newspaper, there was an article uh, about a particular case, the, the, all the details, the name and his age, and what day it happened, and what they did to him. But in some cases, it, as it happened in this particular case, that was written up in that paper, they also killed them. They just simply, they didn't hand them over to the British, they just killed them. Why? Because you're not one of us. You belong to the other faction. Uh, this, is, this is the reality. It never happened that Etzel or Lehi people kidnapped people from the other side, from the socialist left, left wing of, of the Zionist movement, and handed them over to the British or, or killed them or anything like that. Unless perhaps in self-defense, maybe they beat them up or something. But otherwise, such a thing never happened. Menachem Begin always said <coughs> that there will not be a civil war. Even when Ben Gurion ordered uh, an officer in the nascent Israeli army, whose name you might, you might be familiar with you, Yitzhak Rabin, Shem Roshem Yirkov, when he ordered him to fire with artillery pieces on the Altalena, the ship, mm -hmm. with Begin on it, bringing arms to the new Israel, uh, which Begin did not intend to use in any kind of armed insurrection, but that was the claim, that was the argument made to, 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 to justify firing on them. The aim was, and they hit the ship, they hit the ship and killed some people, the aim was to kill Begin, so he couldn't uh, function as, as and create a, a, a base of power that would be some kind of opposition to, to uh, Ben Goyot. That was very deliberate, they, and when people jumped the ship into the, into the sea, near, right near the, the beach, they fired on them with rifles in order to kill them, and some of them were killed. The violence was always one, one way. That's the fact. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. And that's what we see now as well. That is, as we speak today, this is what we see. The violence is all in one direction. And this is not new. That's what I want you to understand. There's nothing new about this. This has been going on for literally a hundred years. Certainly for eighty years. 